Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just out here in the garage and you know up here in Northern Ontario the winters are pretty long and I was bored and looking for something to do. So I pulled the big whipple off. Now, the reason why I pulled it off is because I thought I would port and polish the intake on the inside. Um, it's just like a rough cast finish. I already done a little bit of it when I port matched the big uh, super mono blade to the 3.4 um, didn't quite fit the adapter so I made it bigger but anyways I just figured I'd uh, you know do the rest of it just because just for something to do okay well it's upside down you can see the rotors are no damage no grinding noises Alright guys, so I finished all the sanding with the flap wheels and then I went on to do some hand sanding with some scotch Bright pads and here's the result. Nice and smooth. Um, there are a couple little spots that I couldn't get that are around the housing for the bypass valve. But overall, pretty happy with it. I'm going to see if I can get some finer grip scotch Bright. Uh, I started with the brown. And then I went to the green. I think there's some finer than that. So I'm gonna see if I can find some of that and carry on with it. Well guys, I uh, just got finished up polishing the intake on the 3.4 Whipple. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good for just a home port. Uh, the sides are really smooth. It ended up turning up nice with that 320 and the 400 grit Scotch Bright polishing wheels for the die grinder. So I have no idea what I'm going to gain, if anything at all, with this. Um, it was just a fun project, but you know, any gain in horsepower is a bonus. But we'll see you in the spring when I go to Redino again. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.